welcome to Enlightened World Network. I'm Dr. Ruth Anderson here with a meditation a day. Today, our guest meditator is Sue Broom, and she's going to be sharing out here for just a minute. And while she's doing that, let me just say, we're so glad that you're here. We provide a meditation every day of the year with a different guest meditator, and it's really all for your spiritual transformation time for you to sit with spirit and with yourself. Just get a new perspective for the day. It's one of the most important things that I do every day is time with myself, with my spiritual guides, just getting that new perspective. So Sue, whenever you are ready, I know you're muted, but maybe (laughs) she's still sharing out. So Sue Broom has... um, does beautiful angel card readings. She is at suebroom.com if y'all want to check her out for a private session, or you can check her out on her Facebook page because she does, I think it's weekly angel card readings on Facebook. So we love Sue Broom here at Enlightened World Network. Did you get it all shared? I did. And I actually remember to uh, mute myself, but it's still... (laughs) Yes, and I am every Sunday. I'm on at 10 a.m. Arizona time, so noon Eastern, doing the angel card reading and then hanging out with people. We have have a lot of fun. Perfect. Thank you, Sue. So whenever you want to get started, please do. So I believe I know where we're going. So it's funny because when I sat down here, there was, there's a crystal that is, I, I have crystals all over, but this one, I want to show you this because it um, it might make it might help make sense. So this is a I don't even know it other than quartz, you know, but it's super super smooth and it's got different shape to it. But the whole thing is smooth, even this little niche that's here. So just keep this in mind. It will be in my hand most of the time, I'm sure. (sighs) Okay, everyone. Today we are going to go on a just a beautiful, into a beautiful place. So take a couple of deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. Allowing yourself to just relax. You'll notice the chimes chiming in. Yes, it's sunny, but they also chime in just exactly when when they need to. So whether you're sitting down or lying down, if you want to close your eyes, it's entirely up to you. And today the angels are going to take us into the crystal healing room. Some of you may have been here before. Maybe this is a new experience. And every time you're here, it will most likely be a different experience than you've had in the past. So imagine before you a beautiful crystal door. It can be whatever color you would like it to be. Maybe it's showing itself as a specific color. Maybe you're choosing the color. And it can be Whatever thickness can open in any way that you would like it to open. It might have a handle. Maybe it's a wave of your hand. You just notice the door and open it in any way that is right for you.
And as you enter this crystal healing room, you can feel the presence of God, feel God's love. and feel the healing from Jesus. You're sensing that there's different archangels here. You feel as if they're all, their presence is there. In the background, taking their lead from you. Your guardian angels are there. And you might notice other angels supporting you. And there is a crystal healing bed. So smooth and soft. As you're walking up to it, it's different shades, different colors. And as you reach out your hand to touch it, you're expecting it to feel cool. And yet it doesn't. It feels the perfect temperature for you. You sit down on the edge, just feeling how smooth, how soft. And you might even notice if you run your hand just off to the side a little bit, the colors might change. You might feel a temperature change. You look around the room. The walls even seem as if they're made of crystal. You know this is a crystal healing bed. And maybe there's someone coming to mind that you're thinking they're having a difficult time or there's an illness that they're dealing with. Maybe they too would like to join in on the crystal bed of their own. You can invite their higher selves into the crystal healing room. Knowing that off to the side, they may have chosen to be with, with you in this healing. They may not. It's not for you to know. It's up to them and their angels. This is about you today. But it's nice to have the invitation. So take a deep breath. as you're getting comfortable and lie down on the crystal healing bed. You're amazed at how soft the bed is. It doesn't have a give to it, but yet it feels as if it is perfectly contoured to your body. If you wiggle back and forth, it's as if the crystal just adjusts to you. It 
Everything about this is for your healing. This specific crystal healing bed is for you. Your head even feels comfortable. Your arms, whether they're at your side or across your stomach or your chest, it's perfectly comfortable. The temperature is perfect for you. As you take a deep breath, you'll notice that you get even more comfortable. You notice that there's a pulsing sound a pulsing feeling coming through the bed, almost as if it's scanning you to see what are we going to work on today? There may be some things that come up that you're directing it, Or maybe you're allowing your angels to direct it. Maybe there's some aches or pains in your body that you've been working with. That it zeroes right in on. And it's almost as if you can feel different colors coming from the crystal healing bed, penetrating through your skin, going deep down into the actual cells of your body. Maybe there's a joint, maybe one of your knees, maybe an ankle, but you can sense it or feel it. Maybe there's something you notice in one of your lungs, and maybe it's grief that's coming up for you that's showing up in your lungs. And maybe at this point in time, you're not ready to go there. And that's okay. You are in charge. Maybe it's something you're not ready to go to today. But the healing begins for you to look at in the future. You might notice that there's something on the front of your body. You're wondering, how is the healing from the crystal bed going to penetrate through? And somehow it does. It's as if you can feel this beautiful healing energy coming up through your body, healing from the inside out.
Maybe you just had some surgery on your stomach area. You can feel the healing from the inside. It feels warm, maybe. Maybe there's a tingling. Almost as if there's bubbles tickling it. You might notice different colors. Maybe it just feels like light. Maybe there's different thoughts that you've been working, working through. Maybe it's a procrastination. Maybe it's a judgment. Maybe it's an old belief. You can ask that healing be done for that as well. You might feel as if there's energies popping from your body as different things are being released. Almost as if there's an escape of gas in an air bubble that pops from a joint, maybe from the top of your head. This releasing and allowing the healing to work. Notice if there's any colors that you're feeling coming either from the crystal healing bed or from the room itself, from the walls, from the floors. If the, if the colors are changing, are they slowly changing or faster? Either is right for you for right now. Maybe there's the energy of a certain color that you want to bring in. Allow that color to soak into every cell. Every cell of your body being soothed and comforted, allowing this healing to occur. You feel so cocooned in this room. And you know, you can come back here at any time. This visit, I'm gonna take a couple of deep breaths and slowly come back into your body. Noticing the room around you.
sitting up slowly on the healing crystal bed. As you do, your guardian angel gives you an elixir to drink to help you retain all the healing that occurred and to keep on with anything that has started and feel it going into your mouth, down into your body. You're starting to move your feet, your ankles, and taking another breath or two, moving your arms. Stepping off onto the floor and going out the same door that you came in. Knowing you're in charge, this healing room is available to you at any time. And thanking God and the angels And taking another deep breath, coming all the way back into your body. Oh. And if you haven't already, open your eyes. <sighs> that felt really masterful, Sue, like it was really geared to a couple of folks that were either connecting in with this, be it live after the fact or in spirit. And at one point I heard the words, I can't feel love when I'm in so much pain. Oh. And then I also heard, I can't feel alive when my body is in so much pain. It's, it's interesting because I, people don't always remember or realize that the pain that we feel in our body has a, an emotional connection. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why even when I was doing this earlier, this is, this is almost the same where they took me. And the grief was interesting to me because how I felt it or how it was shown to me was in my left lung. Mm. And I instantly knew that it was connected to my mom. Mm. And grief is connected to other people or things that we think, you know, should have happened or didn't, you know. But the emotional connection to our physical bodies is so valuable for people to see that connection and realize that, wow, there is this crystal healing room. The angels are there to assist us. God is there cocooning us in his love. Jesus is there with the healing hands, with the love, with the compassion. And healing is about physical and emotional. Wow. And I think healing is also about spiritual healing. To me, it's yes. Yes. yeah. Yes, I, I see them as all, it's... It's on all levels. And the, the spiritual connection is not always 
it's kind of the last one for a lot of people to get. Even the emotional one. It's like, oh, I'm feeling this pain in my shoulder. It must be because of this. Right. Yes. Hmm. Well, thank you. Oh, can I say one more thing? Yeah, of course. Uh, it, it's, you think about going to a hospice person and the, the healing, the spiritual healing, the emotional healing doesn't, it might not heal them that they can get up and walk out of the room, but it's the spiritual, the emotional, that's the healing that needs to occur before they're ready to let go. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I've seen that in play for folks during the last, sometimes it's during the last year, sometimes it's during the last week or the last couple of hours even. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Sue. This was, this was really special. And I hope that folks, if this crystal healing room felt right to you, felt like a fit to you, please send this, share this video to yourself. Um, either through Facebook Messenger, or share it to your page. That way you can keep coming back to it. Mm -hmm. So, Sue, thank you so much. Do you want to take just a minute and let folks know what you're bringing into the world and why they might want to call you for a session? Yeah, if you want to find out more about me, you can go to my website, uh, suebroom.com. But yes, uh, the, the healing work that I do is directed by the angels. It's not me doing the healing. It's it's your angels, my angels working in tandem because everybody's on their own spiritual journey. Um, so that's available on my website. Also, I, I do have an Etsy store. I'm in revamping it a little bit but I'm having a lot of fun and I feel, I feel the mantras that I do. <laughs> like this is one of the first mugs that I got. You got this because they're encouraging. So there's a spiritual component, even though the mug, it's a mug, but the spiritual component that comes through in the writings, either for a t-shirt, for a mug, for a, t a sweatshirt, it's all there. Well, and folks can reach out to you and you will individualize a mug or a sweatshirt or a bag, a tote bag or something for the message that they're hoping for you for. So they can just reach out to you and work collaboratively on that. So Sue, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Yeah, friends, thanks for being here at Enlightened World Network. So pleased to be part of your spiritual growth and transformation as you witness ours <laughs> daily. So thank you. Take care and God bless. We'll see you soon. Bye now.